I don't see that we have the authority to all of a sudden impose our system of justice uh, across the uh, entire world. I do not think it's effective. I think it drums up more anti-American hostility more than it achieves justice. It has nothing to do with national security. Matter of fact, our national security is more jeopardized by permitting this to happen because we're liable to start a war. We're liable to have our military men killed. We're liable to have more attacks on us by terrorists. Our foolish policy in Iraq invites terrorist attacks against U.S. territory and incites the Islamic fundamentalists against us. Our foreign policy of military interventionism has brought us death and destruction to many foreign lands and loss of life for many Americans. From Korea and Vietnam to Serbia, Iran, Iraq, and now Afghanistan, we have ventured far from our shores in search of wars to fight. There is no evidence that this policy serves the interests of world peace. It certainly increases the danger to all Americans as we become the number one target of terrorists. Our arrogant policy and attitude of superiority will continue to elicit a smoldering hatred toward us and out of sheer frustration will motivate even more terrorist attacks against us. The CIA is correct when they teach and, and talk about blowback. When we went into uh, Iran in 1953 and installed the Shah, yes, there was blowback. Uh, the reaction to that was the taking of our hostages, and that persists. And if we ignore that, we ignore that at our own risk. That if we think that we can do what we want around the world and not incite hatred, then we then we have a problem. They don't come here to attack us because we're rich and we're free. They come and they, and they attack us because we're over there. I mean, what would we think if we were uh, if other foreign countries were doing that to us?